What are your options when funding construction projects? So whether it's a single family spec home, you're building a multifamily property or some kind of commercial property, self storage. Let's just start with the basics. We're gonna look at, do you own the land right now? If so, when did you acquire the land? How much did you pay for the land? Uh, how much you have in for soft costs to date, architectural plan, civil, engineering, all that good stuff, right? So we're gonna start there. If you don't own the land yet, uh, where are you with the entitlements? Can you can you write a purchase and sale agreement with, with which gives you enough time to get the property entitled? Or do we need to close on just the land first? That's kind of where we start. And then based on the project, whether it's a spec home or a commercial property, if it's an owner, user type of property such as self uh, owner owner user meaning it's a business like self-storage or you're building a hotel potentially there's sba financing right but on all, all these projects for these sba loans you need to be uh, fully entitled shovel ready prior to, prior to us being able to close on the project now for spec homes it's a little bit easier we're going to first start with well, what'd you pay for the land how much you have in soft costs what are your hard costs to build what's your total project cost uh, our plans, are you ready? Are you shovel ready at the moment? And then typically we're going to be able to price that out. And then that comes down to, do you want to do this with a private mortgage fund, which is more of a low doc loan, meaning we don't have to provide income documentations, or do you have a good global cash flow position and you want to go bank or credit union possibly same thing with commercial projects, right? There's private debt funds that fund these type of construction projects. You build them, you stabilize them or you sell them, whatever your exit is. But we, need, we gotta start with the project itself. We gotta start with you as the borrower or AKA the sponsor of the deal. And we gotta see what your experience is. Now, if you're lacking development experience, it's, it's wise to get a very versed contractor that's built similar assets in that vicinity or that location. Hi, this is Bo Eckstein, host of the Investor Financing Podcast. Are you a real estate investor with properties and you're trying to figure out how to refinance or grow your existing real estate business? Need some clarity and a game plan for moving forward? I'm offering a free strategy call where we dive deep on your real estate investing goals. I'll help you come up with a strategic finance plan that will help you get to where you want to go. Whether you've got a portfolio of 30 properties, or you're starting out with your first property. I have a framework that has helped many investors grow. If you're interested, book a call below in the Calendly link. So we got to paint the picture by describing the project in detail, what it is, what's the total cost, what's your experience, what's your financial capabilities, what does your net worth look like? And then from there, we can assess, well, what would make the most sense for this project? Potentially we could do, uh, different pieces if it's a large development project maybe you need a land loan to borrow against this free and clear land to get ready for um, getting all the site improvements done remember raw land is the hardest one of the hardest assets to lend against when it's just raw um, that's going to be a very low loan to value loan now if it's entitled land that's a different story where you can um, you can get uh, development financing for the for the infrastructure to carve up the lots to put in water sewer all that good stuff and then get another loan to go vertical or or potentially you can do one loan that does the infrastructure and the funding for vertical construction so it just really depends on the situation every construction loan project is different really it starts with you know the overall summary of the deal and and i prefer either a short email but really, I would rather get on the phone with you and discuss the project so I can give you the best advice I have, whether maybe my team can offer a financing solution or maybe I have a referral partner for this deal. I really need to start with a basic conversation about, about the deal, how much you have in. And it's really good to know, let's say you're building a multifamily property, you really want uh, a five-year pro forma, a three to five-year pro forma showing what it's gonna look like, what your anticipated stabilized value is, and then we look at loan to cost. We look at loan to appraise, stabilized value. And those are, the, those are the benchmarks we're gonna use to size up the deal and figure out what would be the best capital stack to get the deal done. Construction is a different breed itself, but there's still a lot of funding out there and a lot of different lenders. And it's just about navigating the waters to figure out what makes the most sense for you 
uh, based on the scenario. Okay, hope that helps. I'll see you on the next episode.